Come sit. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I don't know where you're going. Gooning. Got the squad out here again today. Yeet. Yeet level's high. We're going to check out the new field and stream. Right next to Dick's. We may stop at Dick's too. We're going to check this out. Just open. Look at... Mm. Look at the deer. Found it. All right, so what we're gonna be doing today is, obviously this is a brand new field and stream. It's literally been open for what, like two weeks maybe? Two weeks. If that, I just got home from Louisiana. Kyle just, he's been doing Kyle things. The kids, they've been doing kid things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a $30 field and stream challenge. What do you think about that, Kyle? Ooh. Ooh. Yep, $30 field and stream challenge. Join me along this journey. Let's go pick out some baits. All right, first up on the list, we're gonna go with some sort of Lunker Hunt crankbait. And I think, kinda wanna go with lipless. Uh, they don't have a lipless in this color. So let's, this one it is. $3.99. Guys, look what I just found. So this is the Savage Gear right here, right? All the Savage Gear stuff. Tell me what is the more ridiculous lure. Just check this out. We have the ducks, all right? We got baby ducklings all the way up to the big mama duck. Then we have rats, right? Look at this. This is out of control, Savage. My goodness, these are bats. This is what won the best new lure at ICAST 2017. This is out of control. These bluegills look pretty dope. Definitely out of the uh, $30 challenge price range. Keep on looking. Who knew Gary Yamamoto had spinner baits? Look at these things. Never knew that. Never ever knew that. All right, next up, let's get one of these frogs. I'm digging this one. Really like it's got the white bottom on it, and it's the popper. There we go. With the popping frog, you can uh, pop it and you can walk it. You can do both. Instead of getting uh, just a regular frog, you get more action out of a popping frog, I think. That's why, that's what I prefer. What do you think, y'all? What? Oh, look at your shirt. Look at his shirt. Turn around, let me see your shirt. Look at this. Backlash king. What is that, a pig with some... Well, I don't know what... That... Pig flies, dog. Pig flies. Got it. There's so many choices. White flukes, red shad, super, super solid color. Let's see what else I got. The wall of zoom. Ah, so much zoom stuff. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is really, really difficult. Like, this is difficult. It's really hard. But I just saw a swim bait. Kind of thinking about getting that. It's Thirteen dollars though, so I gotta put some stuff back. Let me show you guys. See if you guys like it too. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I don't know. That looks really good, but it's $25. That looks really good too. It's really expensive. Oh, choices. I got wobble ploppers. 90s, 110s, 130s. Double ploppers. All this stuff, rooster tails, all the spinner baits and buzz baits, chatter baits, all kinds of good stuff. Man, doing it big. That's 
swim bait coming in clutch. That's like kind of similar to the one that I lost yesterday. Yeah. It's just soft body and the one I lost was hard, but I like that one better. I think that's gonna, what we got so far? We got some flukes, some frog. This thing looks really good. Saucy. And the savage swim bait. I think that's gonna break the budget right there almost. What do you got Kyle? Kyle has a, a gotcha plug, right? So this is what you use. That's what you use for salt water, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. You just feed the if you catch a bass on this, I'll give you fifty dollars. You heard it first here on video. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks if he catches a fish using this. Fifty dollars. Five zero. Five. Not a fish, a bass, largemouth bass. Large mouth bass. Done. Fifty bucks. What do you think? Done you do and done. Yeah. Yeah. You think yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Look at that. That is the bait to use, though. I don't know, bro. I don't know. We'll see. This though, that's telling. That's the juicy. Yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. <laughs> he says I'm gonna lose. He says I'm gonna lose the bet. See how shiny that thing is? I know it's it's gold. Gold is good to use around here too because of the dirty water. Yeah. But I just don't see a gotcha plug working on bass. You all, you also said the same thing about that. What you call that? That I took oh, the time. tungsten thing? Yeah, the tungsten. Uh, oh, you're right, you're right. Hey, hold, hold this. I gotta, I'll gotta. i be right back, guys. I got to pee. All right, so we just came to walk around in uh, in Dick's because it's like connected. Like, look, I'll show you. Dick's, Field and Stream. This is Dick's. Across that wall is Field and Stream. Anyways, we just came in here to walk around, and there's really not anything of interest. So we're going to go back to Field and Stream. And uh, look at some guns. Let's buy a gun. You want to? Yeah. What do you want? What kind? What kind are you gonna get? Uh, 1911 probably. 1911. Yeah. Scrub. Uh, you Field scrub. string. Here it is. All right. For those that don't know, uh, I'm pretty sure you do know this by now. I'm a sucker for hats, right? I love hats. Kyle likes hats too, so we're getting uh, we're getting hats. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Thirty dollar uh, challenge. This is gonna. This is not gonna go against that thirty dollars because that will be it. It's twenty five dollar hat. So there's no cost to looking cool. All right. Yeah, exactly. See, I have like almost every color Cabela's hat, or I say Cabela's hat. I have like almost every color uh, Columbia hat. I love these hats. This is gonna be the next pickup. Peach is definitely gonna be next, but it's gonna be this one for now. This one's sick. All right, let's keep shopping. Which one you think? Oh, I love it for sure. Oh, is it, this is my Bella size. Right yeah, Bella needs no gun right now. <laughs> she will have one though. I want one of those. Oh, those are uh, those are semi-auto. Wow, that was uh, let me get the sun out of your guys' face. You ready? Stop. That was chaotic. That checkout. So of course I brought the camera in. I forget to bring my wallet in. Oh chaotic anyways i'll show you guys the receipt when we get in the truck 29 dollars and 14 cents 30 dollar field and stream challenge all right so this is how this is going to work guys it's already late in the afternoon uh it's on a sunday number one did you enjoy tuesday's video the two minute tuesday series that i'm starting okay if you did comment drop a comment let me know if you enjoyed it drop some suggestions okay number two what you guys saw me buy today, I'm gonna fish with this weekend. So there will be a, a part two to this video right here. Um, I got a lot of comments on the last challenge video I did, the $50 Academy challenge. And people were saying they wanted to start seeing challenge videos, but when they, when they see them, they wanna see you fish with the stuff you buy. I'm gonna do that, it's just gonna be in a separate video. All right guys, real quick, back at the house. Wanna go over what I bought, why I bought it, and when I will be making the video using all of this stuff. All right, so we're gonna start with the most expensive item and work our way down. So the most expensive thing I got was the Savage Gear 3D Bluegill, and that came in at $9.99. All right, next up on the list, we got a Savage Gear Poppin' Frog. Now, I kinda told you guys in the store uh, why I choose Poppin' Frogs over regular frogs. I feel like with a Poppin' Frog, you can do more with it than, than just a regular frog. You can actually pop it, you can walk it, versus with a regular frog, you're more so limited to just being able to walk it. Same benefits though, you don't get hung up on you know weeds and grass and stuff like that. You can slide it right over a brush pile, anything like that. That's why I go with popping over regular. All right, next thing on the list that I got is uh, probably my absolute favorite thing that I bought today. It's a Lunker Hunt Kraken. 
in a, if the color is called Night Rider, uh, it looks really, really sick. It's kind of just a chrome with uh, some little black tiger stripes and a black back. Lipless crankbait, it's fall, everybody knows it. This is the season to be using lipless crankbaits. And last but not least, for $2.99 a piece, got some uh, white split tail flukes and some red shad split tail flukes. Now the reason I choose white, white is an all around good color, doesn't matter if you're fishing clear water or the darkest, muddiest, nastiest looking water. Fish tend to destroy uh, white flukes. I, I prefer to throw these weightless. Uh, you get more erratic action out of it, which triggers those more intense reaction bites. Same concept behind the uh, red shad color. It's just with the red shad, I feel like they're seeing something that's it's a lot darker, obviously, than that white, and it, it's got that red in it. Now, I'm a believer. Is it true? Is it not true? I don't know. I can't say for 100%, you know, facts, but it's got a lot of red, and it's mainly black. So it looks kind of like an injured bait fish. And that also, with that erratic action, is gonna trigger some uh, some bigger fish to bite. Uh, you'll get little fish too, little fish and big fish, but it's gonna trigger those fish to bite in general because it's got that red on it, it looks like an injured bait fish. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set that bag aside. I'm gonna use just that because a lot of you were talking on the uh, $50 Academy Challenge video that uh, a lot of you guys are tired of seeing just people going to a store, buying some baits and talking about them. Now there's going to be a part two. I don't have the time to make that video today, but there will be a part two where I'm going to take just those lures fishing. I'm going to try to catch a fish on each of them. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Drop us a comment down below. What was what I bought today? What was your favorite thing that I bought? Comment down below. Let me know what it was. As always, thank you guys for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Russell appreciates it. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let us earn your subscription. Let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your, you right there watching this video. Let us earn your subscription. With all that being said, guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned for part two of this video. We'll catch you guys next time.